Hello everyone, this is Shashi from Shashi Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about the data structure. Before going to buy something or before going to joining some course or before going to construct an house or before going to do any work, you will ask a experts or you will ask a person who is already done with the things. In a similar way, if you want to learn the data structure first, you must have to ask the person who has already worked on the data structures. Bill Gates says that the most important parts of writing a program is designing the data structure. He is trying to say that data structure is more important than writing a program. And also one more person by name Linus Torvalds says that bad programmers worry about the code whereas the good programmers worry about the data structure. Before going to discuss the definition of a data structure, we must understand the difference between the data structure and the database. Data structure deals with the primary memory whereas the database deals with the secondary memory. Primary memory means RAM whereas the secondary memory means hard disk. The process of placing the data in an organized manner on the RAM is called as a data structure. The process of placing a data in an organized manner on the hard disk is called as a database. The process of placing a data on an organized manner on the RAM is called as a data structure. The process of placing a data in an organized manner on the hard disk is called as a database. Our main focus is on data structure. So we shall understand the definition of a data structure. What is this data structure? Data structure is a something which holds the data and imposes the certain restriction on the data where user is benefited from the restriction. You may be thinking, even after imposing a certain restriction on the data, how the user is getting a benefit from it? Before going to discuss that, we shall see the classification of the data structure. Data structure is classified as into primitive data structure and non-primitive data structure. Non-primitive data structure is again classified into two types. One is linear data structure and one more is non-linear data structure. Example for the primitive data structure is int, float, character, double, pointer, structures and the unions. Example for the linear data structure is arrays, stack, queues and the list. Example for the non-linear data structure is trees as well as the graph. Let us see the definition of a data structure. Data structure is something which holds the data and imposes the certain restriction on it where the user is getting a benefit from the restriction. I will consider stack as an example. In order to explain the definition to the data structure, I am considering a stack. What is this stack? Stack is a derived product of an array. In array, suppose in array, suppose if you want to insert an element at the 0th position of an array, you can directly insert on it. Suppose if you want to insert a element at the second index of an array, you can directly insert it. You can directly insert it. By leaving a gap at the array of index 1, by leaving a gap at the array of index at 1, this thing is not possible in the stack because it follows LIPO principle that is last in first out. Consider a stack like this. It follows last in first out principle or also called as the first in last out principle. I think all of you know the MS Word. You will be working on the MS Word. When you are typing something, unfortunately some text got deleted. What you are going to do? How you are going to retrieve the text? You are going to press undo. Correct now, you are going to press undo. How it is going to be retrieved? Where it is going to be stored? The deleted text is going to store it in the stack. The deleted text is going to store it in the stack. How it is going to retrieve? Suppose if you type some text. In the particular position only it is going to retrieve. How? How it is going to retrieve? I will show one example. Suppose I will start to write a one text like this Asia and I will delete it it is going to store at the zeroth position of a stack second text is India after deleting that it is going to store at the first position of a stack third text is Karnataka 
after deleting it is going to store at the second position of a stack fourth text is bangalore after deleting it is going to store at the third position of a stack uh, that is third index of a stack as soon as i press control z all the text going to be displayed all the deleted text will be displayed on the screen how it is displayed how it is displayed how it is displayed it is displayed in the leafo format whatever the text you deleted at the last whatever the text you deleted at the last bangalore you have deleted at the last it is going to be display after pressing the control z after that you have deleted the karnataka karnataka is going to be displayed after that you have deleted india india is going to be displayed after that you have deleted asia asia is going to be displayed see it is following leafo principle whatever the text comes at the last it is going to be retrieved at the first whatever the text it is comes at the first it is going to be retrieved at the last this shows that is this the useful condition or not yes it is useful so the definition says that anything that holds the data here the stack is going to hold the data and impose the certain restriction on the data it is imposing the restriction that is it must follow leaf of principle that is last in first out last in first out okay it imposes the certain restriction is over where the user is getting a benefit from the restriction are you getting any benefit from this or not yes you are getting a benefit even after deleting also you can able to retrieve the text is this is a benefit or a drawback yes this is a benefit then hence the definition says that the data structure which shows the data and imposes the certain restriction on the data and the user is benefited from the restriction correct na the definition is completed this is the definition of a data structure one more example is queue suppose if you want to borrow a book from the library what you are going to do you will search a book and you will be standing in a queue in order to borrow a book from the library this is a real time example for the queue here it follows the fifo or lilo principle what is that fifo means first come first serve means first in first out here also last come last serve that means last in last out person who is standing at the first will be distributed first the person who is standing at the last will be distributed at the last this is a real time example for the queue one more example is song playlist in your mobile it is an example for linked list here one song is interconnected to other song as soon as you finish listening toward the first song automatically second song is going to be started it is an example for linked list one more example is google map google map is an example for graph here based on the shortest distance you are going to travel suppose if you want to travel from madurai to mumbai there are so many paths which path you are going to select you are going to select the shortest path that's it now this is an example for google map is an example for the graph thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe to my channel in a future video or in the further video we will be discussing more about the data structure one by one that is stack queues graph linked list so on thank you